What's up guys, thank you for watching JJ Tech Blog. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a comparison between the LG Aristo 1 and the newer model that just came out for Metro P6, which is the LG Aristo 2. And I've done a video previously, and it, I didn't have the phone physically in my hands. Now, when I have the phone physically in my hands of the LG Aristo 2, I honestly wanna change my opinion and update you guys on which one is actually much better. Uh, these are very similar in specs. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually tell you guys the specs between each, so you guys can see. You have the five inch display on both phones, which is the Aristo one and two. As you can see, they're the same size. The difference you might see there, the first model LG Aristo actually had a 2.5 arc glass, while this one doesn't have an arc glass. So if you look at the sides, you'll see that on the Aristo one, you had a sort of an arc there right there on the sides. Very, very small. But then right here, you don't actually have that. And that's pretty good because this gives it a little bit more strength. So if you drop this phone, I had a lot of people coming back and saying it cracked from the sides. Uh, while this one, hopefully it's going to stand a little bit more strength if you drop the phone. So that's one good thing about the new LG Aristo 2. Another thing is 13 megapixel cameras on both in the rear. Uh, even if you actually look at the design a little bit, you have the flash right there, the power buttons, and then the branding, and then the speaker right down at the bottom. The 5 megapixel front facing camera is the same on both phones. And then this is where you see some difference. So 16 gigs of ROM on both phones, and then 2 gigs of RAM on the Aristo 2, but 1.5 gigs of RAM on the Aristo. So I didn't think that was going to be a much of a difference. But now that I have the phone and I've done a test for it, and I'm using this on a daily basis, I can see that the phone is actually pretty fast. I haven't had no lags, no applications crashing, none of that. So there is a slight increase of speed with the 2 gigs of RAM. 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor. It's the same on both the Aristo 1 and the Aristo 2. So in my opinion, the reason why I actually changed my mind and think it is worth an upgrade is for a couple of reasons. So not only the 2.5 arc glass is a major difference for those that drop the phone, but the design itself actually looks pretty nice in my opinion. Compared to this, I didn't really like the first design of the Aristo 1, but I really like it on the Aristo 2. Although there is a lot of smudges from uh, my fingers when I was using the phone, but usually once I have a case on that, that should be fine. Now, the biggest improvement I would say from the Aristo 1 to the Aristo 2 is actually the best feature that I thought wasn't going to work as good because you know compared to the iPhone X that has this feature it's very well implemented and integrated into the iPhone X. The Aristo 2 has facial recognition. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys right now so if I turn off the phone double tap it and then I look at the phone, you see how it goes straight into the home screen. That's pretty awesome. I didn't think it was gonna work this good. If you are thinking of upgrading, definitely go for the upgrade. It's for $59. It's already released at Metro PCS stores across the nation. If you have any other questions, put it down in the comment section below. I'm gonna be doing a full review. So make sure you like this video if you think about getting the Arista 2. If you wanna make sure you see that full review of this phone, make sure you subscribe so you can be notified when it's uploaded. Thank you for watching.